you're looking to play bingo in your maths classroom this year, the name of the game is where you should put it. Hey, what are you talking about? People love me. Because bingo is a game based entirely on luck, there's not a lot of thinking going on. So I've decided to change that. Thinking bingo is a game of skill. People don't want to think. You're probably right. But for those who do want to think, here's how it works. The teacher rolls two dice, for example, a six and a three. Then players need to go through every statement on their grid and work out which of them satisfy that dice roll. So I'll just do that really quickly now. Yes, the sum is a square number. No, we can swap for some of the prime number. The product is even. Product is above 15 and difference is odd. So out of these four statements, players get to choose one to cross out. This means a whole lot more fluency work is getting done than just identifying the one number to cross out. Hmm, six plus three. What's that again? In fact, a full game of thinking bingo exposes people to 136 uses of mathematical language. I'll expose you to specific language if you keep dissing me. And this is the most natural way to learn mathematical language, not by looking at a dictionary and memorizing things, but by using language repeatedly again and again in a context you understand. Repetition. Boring. <laughs> Says the game who goes on and on when you roll the same numbers. What happens to you if you roll another nine? Nothing. Exactly. But most importantly, by providing choice, Thinking Bingo encourages players to develop strategies and consider the likelihood of each of the events. Strategy strategy. In addition to varying length, you can also vary content. This version requires three dice and covers statistical reasoning. Ooh, look at me, I'm Thinking Bingo, I can use big words. Hey, no need to be mean. Life as a teacher has been pretty tough the last couple of years, so I wanted to offer you for free the number and statistics versions of Thinking Bingo. Visit thinksquare.com.au slash bingo. And if you're a year seven or eight teacher that's looking for engaging activities that are low floor, high ceiling, you've got to check out a math textbook I've helped write at mathsmate.net. This textbook is full of rich tasks, games, and hands-on activities to get kids thinking out loud. Enjoy.